Secrets, the channel for learning about trading and investing. Welcome to Markets Tomorrow, the daily stock market analysis show. We will look at what happened in the market during the day and look at what we can learn from it and plan for a better trade for the next day. So we had a bulls that came back today, big moves, you know. Nifty made 200 plus points and Nifty also gains uh, nearly 1% and uh, 18k is reclaimed and uh, at the end of the day we are still at the resistance, that's what we are. Let's look at what exactly does that mean. So we'll go straight away to the Nifty charts. And let me just play the volumes and see. This is the weekly with the weakest just started, so no point in looking at this. But basically, we have that famous trend line that was tested multiple times and now as a support. Remember, the bounce has happened once, failed twice, third bounce from the same zone. Same with bank. Consolidating is what is happening. Look at the weekly candles, you know, one after the other. That's all. It's pure consolidation magnitude. Let's skim the long time frames because it's the beginning of the week. And we are interested in the daily analysis. So look at this bounce back, the candle, wide range bullish candle. After the previous days, almost a retest of the previous uh, swing low. So let's not breach the lower low. That's when it's not formed yet. A new lower low, a new swing, swing low has not formed, and then. Now we are back to the top of the uh, descending wedge, and then uh, all eyes if are on if that's, it's able to break out that. Bank Nifty seems slightly weak today. It is uh, attempted to move above the previous L side, but close below it, and uh, almost an inside bar. But still a green, 1% green nearly. So 18,000 and 18,100 in fact is reclaimed 240 points. Good move, you know? good move from the bank, uh, Nifty side. And we look at what all mode and all the details. But what are the games? So basically, 240 to 1.3%, 35% of a move has happened. Nifty in the bank is 0 0.933. Nearly 400 points has gained. And, but you know, the thing is, the bank is close, little weak, uh, weakish with a close below the previous kind of high. Intraday looks volatile, very volatile. So, multiple V shapes. It did an up move of uh, 1%, 1.5%, respectively, on Nifty and Bank Nifty, and then reversed. Uh, but then again, um, lost half of it and then again reverse. So, multiple V shaped volatile moves is what happens. So, finally, a green day. Green volatile day is what we can call this. You know, bounce from the same old support zone, changing priority still will be working. But it is still having bearish price because moving averages are all like it's at a resistance just below the moving average. Right? So, 2050 moving average, you know, exponential moving average, and the price is just below that. Nifty. 50 DMA support is taken by the bank of T. So bank of T is a support is there a support 50 DMA supports on a 50 more moving average, you know, exponential moving average and bank of T is sort of assisting it more than that. So um right, so that's single variety modes is probably happening. The bounce has been happening now. It's the third time that it's trying to do the thing for it is trying to succeed. If it doesn't it falls back to the crucial trend line breakout zone? Huh? To which 6% fall has already happened twice. And lower low pattern is still uh, could be negated, and the rally can be, you know, for the up move can be hopeful for the bulls only at uh, 18,500 nearby zones. And there's an even stop for these other prices and breakout is what uh, all is around. Support resistance levels are 18,260 upside, and 32 retracement as well, and 18,385, 400, 442 rounding pattern, Fibonacci. Rounding number of Fibonacci 23 and producing high. So 18,200 is going to the zones crucial upside resistance. 18,000 downside in 17,959. This is rounding number of the previous single low and 17,800, 825. So Fibonacci 50 trace level also. This is about the downside. Bank Nifty 42,833,43,000 rounding number. So it's the place where the previous swing high, swing low, and rounding number supports the line and 433. 39 would be the res resistance after the bank. 42,500 would be a pretty single with the match 23 trace level and 42,363 to 231 the levels and downside supports pretty single support basically. Right. Make a lot of these levels on the charts and then you know, accordingly go long short. There's a probability so the price may face resistance as per the previous history. I think that's what the chart says. Volatility is showing 
different thing today. Look at this ball charity. Uh, bands of the ball gym. Yeah, it uh, shows that it has a bearish band because it's uh, below the 20 point average. It's a median of the ball gym band. Same band also. Bearish bias is there, but uh, there is a contraction that is beginning there. The downfall is arrested now for one day at least, right? So, both the indices have got a beginning of the contraction, which indicates the sideways move can be expected, right? Unless it gets negative tomorrow. So, one demand is also showing some W pattern or a volatility divergence, as it's called. So, the price falls outside of the Volge bands and then makes a W pattern like this. There's every chance that it can be a big breakout. So that volatility divergence is also indicative of the bands, which if it works out can be a big move. So as of now, contraction sideways moment is what bullish bands are indicating, but good potential price patterns in along in, or along with the bands that shows that there is a possibility of a big bounce up. Momentum is uh, rising up and then uh, still sideways in both, but there is a bullish momentum divergence which has worked out beautifully in both the nice history. This is for reference purposes because it's already no, no point in doing uh, no, anything, uh, any post mortem, right? Because here, if you draw a no, 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 the momentum is rising up and the price is falling down. So basically, uh, no, there is a bullish divergence here, and that's already confirmed bullish divergence here also. The bullish divergence is beautifully worked out on Bank Nifty and Nifty on short term charts. And the targets could mean that it can go and hit you know, uh, the previous high. Right. That's way up there, you know, way up there from so both indices. So that, work, that seems to be working. It's almost confirmed also. So even the moment the the bullish demand, both are saying some extra story today. So there's also a range shift in Bank Nifty. Bank Nifty the moment has shifted the range by resisting it uh, by climbing the bull zones and then taking a support and marching. So it's a range shift plus, um, you know, a bullish divergence that you're seeing on the index. Then that's that's also indicating. So two things are super bullish possibilities are there. That's what the bull the bands are showing, and that's what the moment is showing. Uh, so if that works out, that can be that can be the end of the down now. So, uh, is the bullish divergence and the range shift in the momentum. Second is uh, the beginning of the uh, W pattern, the volatility divergence, volatility divergence W pattern possibility that I showed you. These two things are very beautiful. It works out. So both of them the daily charts. Trend is negative, still still negative remains there, but it's weak on the Nifty and uh, it's a little more. It's rising uh, in the bear zone. So. The strength of the bearish is a little extra on the bank and the NFT. So it remains bearish. Momentum sideways rising. All clarity. With good indexing price action also at a very good support. So although there is a lot of potential breakouts. So potential up moves there. Right? But it's not confirmed yet. That's what we are very last time we today. Which is good a little bit. Which is not spiking much since last two, three days. For about six five. Right. So intraday within the day there is fix spikes are there, but at the end of the day it closed more or less flat. But you have to be cautious because it is spiked up in single week 15 percent, so it's kind of what most can happen mean wording VIX in the VIX. So I'm sorry, there's still there when some some cool of happened today you know, on the India VIX the sentiment indicator. Features are also there is good news, bang the short covering is happening, people have gone short, you know. The short covering can burst out and bang if you also moves up means along with it means big moves can be expected which can take out the daily moving average when it goes back to the previous high side. Right? So which is why short covering is there long buildings what happens today. Options why the levels are interesting 18,000 is the larger largest put rating is there in the 2300 that's for the Jan 12th tax very mutually sparing. Lower bank for the is the highest put and call rating same so as number of call put and call rating. So as number of call rating what is dominating? It's forty three thousand is what the bank the huge resistance can be seen at forty three thousand. Huge support is seen at eighteen thousand. That's how it is. And some weakness is seen the I also in bank T. Put call ratio is also some weakness weakness point seven in bank T is not bullish enough. Point eight four is very close to a bullish as nifty. Put call ratio we're talking about the options. 
open the data so option of the data as mix uh, mix signals right? put closure closer it's closer to bullish but not at there bank nifty had a short current which is positive and could keep big moves if the short current works next day also the price moves up good supports are seen in the nifty and good uh, and big resistance seen at 43,000 in the bank nifty that's 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 a natural effort we can study from the open interest analysis right let's see what happened in the industry such as today so it was a green day already green day that is actually the big uh, more 2.83 but an automated greater than one percent and former FMCG and reality made less than half a thousand of all sectors are now decided to stop. Heavyweights, it is all green day again for the heavyweights, all the five, all the seven heavyweights that we talk about. TC has made the big moves of three plus percent, it's 3.38 plus of what was happening today. And that's um, space positive. So IT has done well, I believe mean, this is made a bit more. Lens if you did good more than two percent of a pound, Kodak by has greater than one percent, all of this have gone close less than one percent. Just if this having bullish from the note, it has always been the only sector that has bullish for a long time. Just the bank bullish and all of this is still selling is mounted. Interesting selling, the fire is continuing to sell two hundred and three small selling, but the that's the twelfth day of selling. 1723 is the buying that held the market so the mutual funds and retailers are bought for some reason that we don't know they'll be buying the entire almost all the days in december and now again almost all the days in january except one or two days so domestic institutions are holding the market big buy most big buy happened from the di's domestic institutions today and if i are selling continuously slowly slowly right end of the end of the week the sell increased the like, 2000 crores instead of 200 small selling suddenly big selling that's what the battle has been so the question arises now they're saying uh, when are they turning to be buyers that's the time in market rallies until then it would be like this now crude oil is rising up in a trend line channel there is a divergence also there bullish and uh, it's in the bottom right now it's consolidating at the bottom this retraced enough and still below the 77 kind of levels, which is good but uh, there is a possibility that it can spike back to the top of the trend line channel this possibility is a worry but as of now it looks fine on the crude oil Dollar index is flat, having bearish momentum. This point of 103.5, which is good. The rupee is not appreciated yet. Yes, the analysis is, um, is still green and bullish. Momentum 82.3 is not ready to go below the 80 yet. All the spiking of gold is spiking up, and the market is falling. Market uh, uh, was not falling, still the gold is falling. You know, I think so. A lot of hedging is happening. That's it. People are moving the money into the gold because the pressure free is and 17% of the was happening. The bullish and rising moment is what you can see. As it's flat as of now, US dices are green. There is a comeback scenario in the US and dices. If you just look, that's what we are. We are in a descending downside, no descending wedge. We almost lost the support, and then now we are climbing back since last three days. If it sustains, now the dice is on the semi final, and the low down also. And the NASDAQ also, it's fine. This is what NASDAQ looks like. The top on the Dow Jones is not reflecting here, but it's at a very good support. So all eyes on if it is going to break out of this uh, listening wedge or is it going to climb back, climb above that. It's going to break out or is going to fall back down. That's what all eyes will be. So big moves are happening there means we'll have trouble. Now market as well. So major wins that are uh, there for this week is Fletcher speech is there today, tomorrow, 10 January and. Both the India and US inflation rates are coming tomorrow on Thursday, January 12th, and the US jobs are coming on January 12th. So it's going to be a crucial day for Thursday and Friday. Also, you can be experienced on, on, on these days. So, two stock moves for the next day. What is RS is a rounding pattern. So, it will be a good uh, risk reward if you're able to take the portion with a tight stop loss. If the neckline for this rounding pattern is blocked, right? So this is rural electrification corporation, so it's a long side call and uh, short side call is big of finance that has been doing well since the George Finch serve reason it, it was having a inverter head and shoulder which has failed, so seems like it's falling down and descending wedge. 
the auto space to go down supports are there so if the major supports on the drawn here parallel line if that's breached then you can be rewarding still the next support at thousand right now so keep a close watch and have tight stop losses right very small uh, stop loss and um, good risk reward can be the reason for the trade entry is that it's a also falling descending wedge also the moment has dropped and the trend is also rising in the bear zones right because in the fields are long and RAC is long and because it's for short that's what to short it for the next day so that's it so let's just wind up and say hurry the markets did another bounce the markets did another bounce that's what happened right last day we had given back everything right and then we are attempting to do another bounce like we did on 26th of December same with bank fifty. The only problem is that we are at a resistance zone. The twenty-day moving average, twenty-day exponential moving average, and fifty-day exponential moving average are crucial to be taken out. Such a rise would be if there is a green close average above that better. But the good side is the divergence has worked out well, and the price has crossed over. Momentum has picked up, and then to the sideways to be a response. So it's a positive thing. So that's a bounce is what happened, but we are at resistance. Right. Good, good day, good green day, good move, good up move. Beautiful retest of you know previous swing lows and then bounce up without me lower low. So it's all nice. But will it hold tomorrow? Is the question. Nobody knows that because we are at a crucial resistance. Once we are at the same zone where the breakout happens, we take the support and bounce second time bounce. So the view remains to be slightly bearish, mild bearish. Is one of the biggest reasons. Spice is still more below the moving averages. Twenty moving average is less. Bullish band has got bias downside. Sideways momentum still bearish trend. If I was selling, would be is weak. Use market still at a resistance zone on the top of the resistance level. Even if it's attempt to break out, it's a resistance zone. Zero lines on this. Weak is spiking up. It's not ready to fall below the 14. So my bearishness continues. So 17, 800, 18, 300. And that's the level for the short term. And 4,500, 43,000 levels for the short term for the bank nifty. Right. So keep your portions short if the weak is spiking above the 20. And play safe always have hedge portions. Do not carry overnight portions without hedge, hedge hedging properly done. And protect your capital increases with the multiples and um, um, average your portions for long term quality stocks. With uh, no options, you can do that. You know, check out the playlist for the uh, covered call strategies and uh, trading strategies, covered call and uh, cash circuit puts that helps you stay invested and have rental incomes with the options. At the same time, keep your long term uh, investments intact. And options, no portion sizing and risk management is all about it, as I always said. So, it's my view, my view is just continuous. Although there is a lot of possibilities that we can see on the market, as I as we had studied in detail, keep that in mind, keep the levels in mind, play safe. See, so this analysis and study of the market is helping some way. Consider hitting the like button, share to others, and put in feedback. And subscribe if you are not done. More importantly, share with others. Now we have a few subscriptions. Appreciate helping us a lot. Thanks for watching. I've been trading, I've been learning, I've been losing. Bye bye.